What is going on Cancer? This is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you, how they see you, where this relationship is going, and how you see them. Okay, we're going to take a look at both of your energies. This is a timeless reading, so when you see this reading is when you're meant to receive it. And remember that the roles can be reversed. So flip-flop them if you need to. Also, you can take a look at your person's sign if you want more clarity. Okay, so let's get into this. What do we have for Cancer's person? Let's get some energy. Okay, we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, and for you, we have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get into the reading. Let's get some messages for you and your person. Okay, how is your person feeling at this moment, Spirit? Give me a message for Cancer's person. How do they feel at this moment? What's going on? Okay, we have the devil. Wow. How they see you is the high priestess. How they see your relationship is the Queen of Wands. And your energy towards this person is the Four of Cups. Okay, at the bottom we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like there's some kind of struggle going on here. There's some kind of struggle. Um, I feel like you are kind of working through some things. Okay, um, for your person... I feel like they may be battling their own demons. There's something that they're dealing with. They may be dealing with some kind of um, obsession, some kind of addiction, some kind of negative energy around them. Um, your person may also be a Capricorn. This may be Capricorn energy, okay? Um, but I feel like they see you as this beautiful being as very trusting, very um, intuitive, you know, being able to feel very deeply. Okay, I feel like they, they see you as someone that they can kind of nourish and, you know, um, I'm getting kind of manipulate sometimes for some reason. Hmm. Okay. But I feel like the relationship, they the way they view this relationship is very uh, enthusiastic. They see your relationship as going well as, you know, um, they really see this relationship as two attractive people moving through life together. <laughs> those are the words that I'm getting. And I'm not sure why I'm getting those specific words. But I feel like there's a lot of curiosity and adaptation to this relationship as well. You may have had to adapt to the situation. Maybe that's the reason why we have the acceptance here. I think there's some things about this person that you have had to accept that you may not have accepted otherwise. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're they're still happy the way this relationship is going, even though they have their own demons to battle, even though they're going through some kind of situation at this moment. And I feel like it's leaving you kind of drained. It's leaving you very up in your head. Maybe you're overthinking at the moment, but you are feeling like you may be starting to reject this person. You may be starting to lose your interest. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. And I feel like your person may not even see this. They see this as, you know, you being very trusting and accepting, you going with the flow. And I feel like you may be kind of wearing kind of thin there, Cancer. Okay, and I feel like there's some things about this person that you are just not accepting because it's just not, it just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel like it's going the way you want it to. So I feel like there's something here that you're trying to let go of. Okay, so let's get a little bit more clarity for the situation. 
tell me more about this reading for cancer tell me more about their person why is this devil here okay okay we have the empress okay there may be something that this person this person may have some kind of addiction some uh, they may also have you know they may also be dealing with another person um, maybe an ex maybe someone who has children by them um, but I feel like you know there's another person here in the picture that's kind of sitting in the background just um, creating negative energy for this person so it may be that you know there's some kind of issues um, in some kind of past relationship that you are trying very hard to accept but you're having trouble okay because i feel like you know this person may be a single parent that you're dealing with um or they may have a baby on the way okay but there's something going on okay we with the high priestess we have the lovers so this person is trusting that you're going to make the right choice, that you're still going to stick by their side, that, you know, your love will overcome anything because you're very trusting and accepting in the situation. So they feel like your love is stronger than any obstacle that you may go through, that you're going to stick by them through their struggles and through these uh, negative times that they're, they're, they're going through right now. Okay. Um, they feel like they're waiting for some kind of offer. They're waiting for some kind of offer. Um, they're waiting for you to fully accept some kind of apology, some kind of... Um, some kind of opportunity that was presented to them. They're waiting for you to accept it. It may be that they were, they have gotten some kind of good news and they're waiting for you to kind of feel very enthusiastic about it. You know, they're waiting for you to show your reaction. But there's some kind of offer here. There's some kind of offer here. They, they want to provide you with some kind of stable offer, some kind of value, okay? Uh, let's get an outcome for this situation. We have the Four of Cups. Look, we have two Four of Cups. So you're still thinking about this situation. You haven't made a choice. We have the Queen of Wands again and the King of Wands. Wow. Counterparts. So I feel like your love may be stronger than anything that you're going through. I feel like, you know, with, you know, these, this Queen of Wands and King of Wands, I feel like, you know, whatever burdens you're going through, whatever obstacles that are coming your way, you're kind of, you know, you're lowering your defenses and you're like accepting things the way they are. And, you know, you're trying to move ahead. Because with this Four of Cups energy, you know, you're thinking about things. You're coming to a decision. And the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, you know, this is a very passionate couple. Full of fire and full of excitement and exhilaration. Um, but I feel like, you know, you have this attraction to each other that may be stronger than any obstacle that you're going through. So I feel like, you know, you are pushing through any situation. So whatever the situation is for you, Cancer, I feel like, you know, you're going to have a good outcome. There's, you know, you're going to be able to move past whatever this is and move forward with your person. I feel like this is just an obstacle that you're going through. This is something that you feel like you just need to accept because this is who, who your person is, what they are dealing with at the moment. And you're trying to be very supportive, very nurturing, very giving. 
um, but I don't feel like it's without fire because I feel like there are some aspects of your person that you are refusing to accept but you are trying to kind of go with the flow of the situation okay you have a desire to keep moving um, even though everything about your person you simply don't agree with okay you're just accepting who they are yeah the Aries energy you may be dealing with an Aries cancer but I feel like you know you you feel like you have more control over the situation you feel like you know you're able to move forward and you know be powerful you know be this power couple um but it's going to take some time and some nurturing i feel like there is going to be a lot of change here okay let's go ahead and get an angel number for cancer let's get an angel number for cancer what does cancer need to know right now Okay, we have 777 alignment. Yeah, you may have the need for balance, you know, to feel more aligned, to feel like you're in more control of the situation. Okay, so I, I think that's the reason why we have this emperor here because you want to take control, you want to feel balanced and aligned. Okay, your progress is recognized. And alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. Okay, and your affirmation, I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. Okay, so that is your affirmation. I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. Okay, so, you know, feel that balance, that alignment. If you need to, go ahead and meditate, contemplate, you know, find that quiet space for you to really think things through. Okay, and now if you made it this far, go ahead and write 777 in the comment section. And I hope this helps you, Cancer. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I have the March playlist up so you can take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for love. Okay, and if you know your person's sign, go ahead and take a look at theirs as well. Okay, and Cancer, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.